Hello and welcome back to the lecture. Okay, so we got our arms created. Let's go ahead and we're gonna do the legs and then we'll do the hands last because I'll show you switch layers. So let's go ahead and not an image. Let's go ahead and get a vector file. And we'll do the same just like what we did with the arms. We'll name this leg right and we'll start on the right leg. I don't know why they called that right. I keep on thinking of the character's right arm. So if we're looking at it, that's actually gonna be our left, our left. And this is going to be the right. Okay. Got my left and right mixed up just a little bit there. Okay, so let's go to the leg, draw that out. Let's get our reference image back. Ooh, yes, our wonderful reference image. Let's Yeah, if your uh, reference image isn't that great, go ahead and just draw your own thing. Because <laughs> mine isn't either. I'm actually just going to turn that off. That's not going to help me at all. Uh, I think that's enough toes. Okay. Create the shape. Actually, when I made that, there we go. That's better. It almost added two strokes. So I went and I just undid it and just made sure it just added one stroke. Okay. There we go. Nothing new. Um, just copy and paste. So we duplicated the layer and we're gonna name this left. And I'm just gonna bring this layer over. Shrink it down just a bit and maybe even rotate it. Actually, I'm just gonna select the points and I'm gonna re rotate it on the, the points because I don't really wanna mess with the origins or the uh, the transform layers. Okay, let's go back to the torso. And let's add a point there. And maybe just add a point there. Take that out, let's bring back the shape there. Let's just curve that off a little bit. All right. So now that I'm looking at this, this whole shape here is not working. And that's okay. You will just have to fiddle with it as you go. But yeah, that's, it's not working. I'm just gonna delete that. So he is gonna have to kind of maintain his roundish shape. Still don't like how it looks. As the saying goes, you are your own worst critic. That is for sure. Um, this might look good to you right now or not look good to you, but it doesn't look good to me. And it might go the same. It will be the same way for your drawings. You'll not like it, but someone else will. So if someone else does, that's a plus. But yeah, it's definitely always good to achieve your own best of what you think looks best. It just helps you to push yourself further. But don't ever give up. That's the most important thing. So many times I wanted to give up while um, using Anime Studio just because it was so confusing and so frustrating. But luckily, I found a few helpful tutorials that helped me go and get going, and, and I'm trying to share that with you without having to search really, really hard. Um, we're making this more available to you. Okay, so that is... How we are going to be doing the legs. Yeah, they're just basically going to be little flipper things and they work and I'll show you how they work. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for this lecture. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this tutorial series, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'll have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, if you want to help support the channel, 
I have the link to all the full paid courses down in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.